Welcome back to Scary Animal Attacks. For today's episode, we travel to the exotic African wilderness. The Zambezi River holds world-famous Victoria Falls and traverses some of the most desired river safari areas in the world. The river is filled with wildlife like crocodiles, hippos, and many others can be seen along the shore. Wildebeest, lions, giraffes, and elephants are very common to see near the river and are favorites of visitors. The canoes grant a modicum of safety in an otherwise wild and dangerous environment. Kristen Yalder was turning 37 years old and her beloved husband decided to surprise her with a canoe trip together down the Zambezi River on December 1, 2018. The weather was perfect with sunshine and clear skies. Their canoe safari was booked with a company called Wild Horizons, which billed its river tours as calm water tours for beginners. The guides were locals from the area and were keen to all the twists and turns the river would throw at the group. There were three canoes on their tour. The first was the lead guide and a tourist. The middle canoe held Kristen and her husband, and the last one carried the rear guide. Before the tour kicked off, the guides provided basic instruction on safety and expectations. When asked what they should do if tourists fell overboard, they were advised to swim as fast as possible to the shore. The group had rounded the first corner in the river when the lead guide indicated that he had seen a group of hippos on the river a bit. The best way to avoid a confrontation with hippos is to paddle ashore and review the situation before proceeding. The group started paddling to the shore on the left. Kristen was following directions and staring in the direction of the hippo herd when she could see a giant gray mass just a few yards away completely submerged. It was a huge hippopotamus on the far fringes of the herd. She was unsure what to do as it apparently went unnoticed by the head guide. Just as she started to say something, the hippo surged toward their canoe and went directly beneath Kristen and her husband's canoe. Before she could analyze the situation, the giant hippo slammed into the bottom of their canoe, right in the middle, lifting them out of the water and bending the boat around its nose. The force of the impact sent Kristen flying toward the hippo, and Ryan fell the opposite direction and toward the safety of the bank. They were wearing their flotation vests and popped back up quickly, but the water was churning with the power of the hippo. Kristen began quickly swimming toward the bank, just as her guide told her, when the hippo clamped onto her leg. She took a deep breath in anticipation of being pulled underwater. The hippo submerged with the now terrified woman. Kristen tried to reach the top of the water, but when her hand did not breach the surface, she knew she had to keep her senses. The tourists had apparently violated the territory of a very protective bull hippo. As soon as Kristen was pulled into the dark, muddy depths, the giant began thrashing her all about, like a dog with a toy. Kristen instinctively grabbed onto the bull's nose and tried prying her leg from its gaping mouth. The hippo must have thought it was being attacked by her grabbing it and released its grasp. Buoyed by her life jacket, she popped back up to the surface. Her femur was broken, which made swimming impossible, so she started to backstroke toward the shore. She yelled for help, and the lead guide reached out his canoe paddle to give her something to grab onto. He pulled her to the safety of the shore. Even though the attack had happened right in front of the group, nobody had witnessed it due to the depth and darkness of the water. Ryan was terrified that she simply disappeared once he got to shore and could not find her. Kristen's wounds were horrific. The hippo had pierced her entire thigh muscle and tore it all the way to her knee. A huge piece of her thigh muscle was avulsed and displaced to the outside of her thigh. The filthy water from the river as well as the bacteria from the hippo's mouth was now dangerously inside of the enormous wound. The group tended to Kristen's wounds as best they could as they waited for a medical helicopter to fly her to the hospital in Johannesburg. Her femur was, in fact, broken, and she required skin grafts as well as sanitary care for her wounds. Kristen spent two weeks in the hospital before flying home to Odessa, Florida. She had to endure 21 surgical procedures to repair the damage in total. Her leg wound had to be left open until the infection from the bacteria from the river subsided. She lost a lot of muscle as a side effect of the attack and had a metal rod implanted to help her femur heal. She was initially worried about being able to walk again. She says she hasn't felt much pain and discomfort since the attack and hasn't had any PTSD symptoms either. Ryan and Kristen set goals to complete running events together to keep their eyes focused on recovery. Her family helped her maintain a sense of humor about the situation by purchasing the family game Hungry Hungry Hippos as well as having t-shirts designed to commemorate the occasion. In Africa, hippos kill an estimated 500 people a year, and adults can range in size from 3,000 to about 10,000 pounds.